Welcome back to the forest. We're going to be jumping really awkwardly because we're going to forget how to freaking play this game because... Oh, I, know, I remember how to jump. Yeah, but my point is not so much that I forgot how to jump as much as I'm not used to jumping like that. Because I've been playing Kingdom Hearts for the past, like, month. <laughs> I'm not joking. I literally have... I'm down to the data battles in Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, Sephiroth, and whatever Terra's name is. And it's like something... Memory... Some... I'm gonna look it up real quick. Oh yeah, this is definitely a little weird. I thought, like, my brain was, like, going to be will. automatically... It's called Lingering Will. Which, by the way, I realize that I have not been Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep because I have not played the final episode. And my god, did Tyler hear me rage yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I kind of left midway. So I was <laughs> like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this right now. I smashed a hole in my um, little Tupperware that I keep snacks in. Because I just swung my controller Jesus. down, and it now has, like, this tiny hole in it. Because <laughs> I was like, Because <laughs> Terra kept healing himself! I was like, Gah! I think in my lifetime, I've only completely broken a controller, like, one time from Rage. Also, I didn't break the controller. But... Freaking PS4 I... controllers are strong as hell, like... But I'm just adding it in there where I've only broken a controller myself. I know you didn't break it, but... So, this is the whole reason why I ended up break. <laughs> it was like a... It, it was like a GameStop. Oh no! Game oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. I guess I'm not finishing my story. <laughs> Please, give me back the, the logs. Thank you. Okay, continue your story. So, I had... I have another GameStop GameCube controller, that, like, but I don't use it because... Um, but I think one, at one point, Brandon broke the... Like, the freaking the rubber off the joystick I don't know what happened but that was like years ago and well my first controller that was the same brand apparently these weren't made like well because I remember I was raging at Ocarina of Time on the Wii and I like slammed it or something and the whole C the C stick sunk into the controller and I was like oh no how am I going to play my game now is it was gonna start whacking out whenever I was trying to use the the items on the C stick. This is so like, I, the I only time I think I've ever like like broken a controller through rage is when I was I think I think it's when we were doing uh it wasn't during a video but I think it was right around the same time we started the SpongeBob movie game. And I think I had just gotten so freaking angry at the game where I was just like, because I wasn't, I was playing like, trying to beat like King uh, Trident at the end, because I was like, you know what? I want to beat this game just so that I can. Hi, Armsy. Thank you for interrupting me. But just so that I have like that bragging rights of like, ha ha ha, I did it! Yay! I don't suck! Oh yeah, let's also not forget to mention that you broke an entire Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, I, I squeezed the damn thing like a freaking like cat tried to kill a mouse, and uh, just freaking shattered it. Like I shattered some. I think it just froze, and it just kept like the screen on even after I turned it off. I mean, it literally burned into the screen, and then it just faded out and never turned on again. I actually have no idea what went wrong there, to be honest. Like, I'm very good with, like, when it comes to hardware, but I actually not sure what went wrong there. 
Especially since it shouldn't have been able to, like, just die from me squeezing it at seven years old. Right? Like, a seven-year-old doesn't have a, a vice grip. So, I was always confused at what the hell I did wrong. How hard do you even have to squeeze... Let's do it. I don't even think we should do an experiment on that. Yes, let's I do have an experiment. Like, I have two Game Boy Advances, but I don't feel like sacrificing one of them for a fucking experiment like that. How hard do you need to squeeze a Game Boy Advance for, for it to break? Extremely hard, apparently. Okay, this is a question I have. Not... not okay, so... You're gonna see what I mean by this is weird. So, if you look over here, it goes into this logs that's sticking up. But then over here, it fucking juts up. Oh, oh, I almost, I almost walked off the edge. You guys are gonna have to sit out there and reflect on your actions. Oh God! <laughs> This freaking tree just drilled into me. He did not like the idea of that. I'm just in the base. I make it in the base. He's like, "What you fucking say to me?" Whoa. Why? Do why does it keep turning off the flashlight? It doesn't. This game really doesn't like the flashlight. <laughs> that cannibal just burned the other cannibal. Do you agree that this game really hates... Uh... No, this fire cannibal is, has to go. Oh my freaking god. Keep the flashlight on! Wait, did I just shoot him in the head from like... Like... 40 feet away. Ah! Like, I try to get, take games seriously before, like, a whole bunch of memes come out, but then once all the memes come out, you just give up on trying to take it seriously. Just every time you see the memes, you just think about the memes while you're playing the game. You're like, God damn it. You mean, like, how... Like... I mean, I was still, like, I still got terrified of Lady Domitresque in, um, Resident Evil 8, even though, like, Mommy Vampire make my brain go brr. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not one of those people that, that are like, into mommy vampire as you would you say no Jesus Christ no don't moan at me like that Ugh. oh hi I remember watching this video of somebody like pranking other people in a in like a a not a convenience store, like a grocery store. I think it was tar Target. Target considered a grocery store because they have food. Uh, th they have I a grocery no. market. Well, anyways, there was just somebody just moaning into people's ear, and every person that this this guy did it to would get so pissed. For what? For uh, him moaning in their ear. The who? It was just some video I saw. I don't remember who. Who was moaning in whose ear? I don't remember. It was just some some guy just pranking a bunch of people in a store and moaning in their ear, and every person that he did it to would get really pissed. Alright, bye!
I mean, I guess it's understandable because it is weird, but there were only like a couple people that I guess thought it was funny or were like, I like that shit. And the guy was like, no, 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 no. It's like that one, like, video of, like, Femboy IHOP, right? Oh, that video I showed you. It was like, like, jokes on you. I'm into that shit. Huh? <laughs> it was Alstalfo. Oh, hi! What? There's no uh, goss here. Tyler? Or girls! Uh, Tyler? What can be so important? Uh, a cannibal just got its way in here, and I don't know how. I just shot you in the. F I shot you in the head! Game says no. <clears throat> you don't make the rules, the game does. <sighs> I have a bone to pick with you. Come here. I have a bone to pick with you. Uh, ow. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, what? Hey, Tyler. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, I got a bone to pick with you. You know what? You're still on fire! <laughs> Dynamite! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! No, I can't! No! Are you actually going to blow me up, or...? No. <sighs> okay, because I was trying to get a little defensive there. Cause <laughs> uh, I was waiting for an all-out war. <laughs> you could have said... Of course not, I'm gonna- I'm not gonna kill you with dynamite. What animal do you take me for? I'll kidnap your dog, though! What, am I Trevor Phillips now? <laughs> yes, yes. Imagine if Trevor Phillips was in the middle of- the. He was just in the forest. It'd be definitely weird. I feel like he'd do all right for himself. If he had a big ass gun, yeah. Imagine if there was a rocket launcher in this game. Oh god. The missiles probably would have to be really rare. That or you have to craft them. Tyler, we got bigger company. Yeah, I heard them. That was a. More than likely, they're going to keep spawning. Oh, God damn it. It's square and circle? Oh! Ow! Uh, Tyler. I'm just gonna pop in here real quick. I mean, there's also a weird thing where, like, even though we have, like, 
uh, destroy builds uh, off. Um, stuff still just breaks. Like... So, like... It, it's weird how it, it, it... So, trees are still destroyable. So, anything you build in trees will still break. And if you use hole cutters... If you cut holes into things, it will also break it. And... And it's just, like, it's frustrating from a... I don't want to give up the illusion that I hate this game. It just has some stuff that irks me. And... <laughs> the fact that I love this buggy, buggy game a lot more than I do a series that I love just tells you how a buggy game can sometimes be still more fun than a trashy, trashy, uh, well-designed, well, well-programmed game. That's not as much buggy, but just too reliant on RNG. I could go on for hours about it, but I don't think anyone here cares about Kingdom Hearts. Oh, cool, thanks. Hey, we might we might get it an influx of subscribers from this. That's that's awesome. We, we like <laughs> like we've been doing this since like we were in middle school. So like it there, there's some stuff on here that we don't exactly like like as much that is still on here. But like we kept it because we're like you know what it'll be weird to lose a whole bunch of content. We we should have a lot more videos like. Yeah, there are some regrets I have. I mean, we kind of, like, got known for, like, quote-unquote known. Our following knows us for, like, for, uh, being boozle, and that's just... You know, I hate the fact that my first appearance was being boozled, <laughs> of all things. <laughs> I hate that that was, like, one of our most viewed videos. <laughs> And I, I don't know what the. Well, it I don't became know why a trend. Was... It's RP soda. Like, am I wrong? Oh, yeah, it's... we need to do it this. Year. We probably won't do another nature trail adventure again, but we do need to do another bean boozled. Is bean boozled not RP soda of the channel? <laughs> I don't know anymore. It's a trend. Like I, we literally were like, it, it, it's, it's a pattern. <laughs> I mean, the Nature Trail Adventures didn't do too bad. Yeah, yeah. I think most of our following so far has come from, like, the few people that have followed us to, like, try to give us a little bit of support for, like, people who will like our content. There's the people who follow us because they know us in, like, real life. And then there's the people that followed us for the Bean Boozled and Nature Trail. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> we have, like, six... We have, like, six subscribers and then like the rest of us are like the rest of the following is also just us like am I wrong like I a whole bunch of our follower or like 10 well, at this point it's no longer a bunch but when we started like the 14 subscribers was literally like everyone who had participated on the channel was just like yeah let's follow ourselves oh yeah there was like the longest time where we only had like 20 subscribers I think that was like for that that was lasted for like a few years and then like maybe one, like and then three one year years. Vincent just like like told his like followers like subscribe to us we got up to like a hundred I think and then it dropped that down to 60 no I think it was like at 50 and then it dropped down to like 30 I don't exactly remember but it it wasn't like a hundred unless unless that Unless I wasn't looking, if it did get to that, I know it got like, like we got like double. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep watching. Uh, oh yeah, we almost we almost forgot our joke merch. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> so to explain the joke merch. <laughs> I think the, one of them was like me saying I have to use the bathroom yes, or something like that. Because every stream, Tyler would say, I have to use the bathroom. And so we're, we just had the idea of just there being a toilet and it's in the center. Like, I have to use the bathroom. Dash Tyler 2019. Uh, or is it 2020? When did... When it was that, 2020. I believe 2020. it was not that early. <laughs> Early, you're, you're acting as if one year dip. But yeah, I no, I I can tell when because I know Vincent wasn't even a part of the channel yet in 2019. I think I think we started recruiting him in early 2020, or was it might have been late 2019? It may have been. I think it was late 2019 because I remember. It was Actually, yeah, I, I don't remember because was. the whole reason I started doing YouTube again was because the pandemic just like so like when the pandemic started, my ex broke up with me, and then we just cranked out like a whole bunch of videos because my I had, I was going to be uh, in an engineering I was in an engineering uh, course at at my college and I uh, I dropped the class because or the classes because I was just I didn't have the program or the computer strong enough to run the programs the classes weren't making sense and because I I wasn't able to retain it over zoom and so I was like you know what I'm just going to switch my major to my to the other thing I wanted and I'm just gonna hope for the best. Yeah. And... So basically, your motto for the beginning of 2020 and 2019 was like a video a day will keep the pain away. Yeah. And what made me like keep pushing on was actually Dan Abadan. Surprisingly enough, not because I actually know uh, the lead singer of Ninja Sex Party, but because I was watching them play, the Game Grumps play uh, Mario, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and Dan mentioned how when the first time they played Link Between Worlds, he had just gotten, like, his relationship had just ended. And he was super crushed about it. And, like, but then things got better. And, like, and so I just was like, you know what? Let me just make a whole bunch of content that I care about. And we started getting views. Like, not a lot of views, but, like, for a channel that had 20 views, getting, like, 10 views per video was pretty big deal with a following of 20 subscribers. And most of them were people who were on the channel. So... <laughs> At the time, it was, like less than half but yeah and so then, then we started like... getting like certain videos we started getting like 50 views and it was like it was really good because it was like we were putting a lot of effort into it and it's like all right we have a decent like subscriber increase and then we're like you know what let's i got i was like i have a ps4 let me start let's start streaming minecraft and do minecraft mondays and then uh, the Forest Fridays, which uh, today is not Friday, but but that's just because originally we did Escapist on on Wednesdays, and um, we kind of got a little bored of the Escapist. <laughs> not because there's anything explicitly wrong with the Escapist, just the motivation to continue playing the Escapist kind of went down. <laughs> At least in me, Tyler, I'm not so sure. Is that? Partially, yeah. Just found it fascinating that, like, <laughs> everyone was, like, on top of the channel, and then Brandon's just back there, just like, I don't like this. He wasn't, he literally, like, made videos of, like, saying, like, that, like, because, like, I was, 
I was like this one discovering myself and 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 two like he was just like made a whole bunch of like rant videos about like how like I was caring so much about the channel and it's like why did that matter to him? All right. And it, it was just so much of it made no sense to why he was so hellbent on us. And a lot of his, I remember a lot of his criticisms, criti his criticisms didn't even, like, they shouldn't really matter there or they shouldn't really be his business. It'd be nice, though, if I, if we could somehow, um... Oh, in the number of times, Persuade... Brad. And well, it would be nice. Okay, you can go. <laughs> the number of times that Brandon was like, "Oh yeah, we'll do a video on that," and then just fucking dip on us. Like it was to the point where Vincent made a. He brought our one friend Nick out of retirement of YouTube, which, by the way, is a little weird since he's like the same age as us. Yeah, he did like a whole video with me saying trying to prove Brand like say that Brandon was was wrong about this like this the behavior that he's displaying. He's being completely irrational. I was gonna say something like it would definitely be nice to be able to persuade Brandon to change his mind on some things. Cause well, I don't I genuinely sometimes don't know how he feels. And right now Currently, you can just ass blast him with like a million messages, and he won't even send a single letter to back to you. And that usually sucks. I know there's a lot of stuff that we're missing, but we almost have the notes filled out. Uh, we have five of the seven photos. We have a lot of the cassettes. Uh, Three of the cassettes. Maybe there's one also in here. I'm not exactly certain. Um, we have... That's all the tapes we have of those. And we have three gun pieces. So... I don't know how drinking a soda automatically makes you have full stamina. Because it makes you fast as fuck, boy. This thing? Like, I get that it's caffeinated drink, but it wouldn't work instantly like that. It doesn't add all the caves that we were already in when we found this, so we had to go back through some caves. Um, and also, I'm not exactly sure how the map works inside the cave, because there's times where... I've had the same direction, and then it shows the little pin marker changing directions, so. <laughs> it's not the... It's not the most accurate thing in the world. Or at least it may be accurate, it's just I don't know how it works. <laughs> On the overworld, it makes plenty sense. Uh, we almost have everything but that north corner. Or I have almost everything but that north corner. Ha! <laughs> Comments are at 69. I'm going to put that down because I can't see. Oh, yeah. I want to mention th this whole thing with w when we had the whole conversation about um, when when parents say that ki kids can pause an online game. We we said, oh, so, so you could just go to your, your little son's Frickin' just baseball go to game. Jonah's, you're just at Jonah's, like, soccer baseball game. It's like, Jonah J. Jovison! <laughs> I don't know why I did the guy from like, Spider-Man. The mother just goes all the way from home. Like, travel, like, three or maybe, like, 20 miles. Goes into the frickin' field and says... Get your ass back home. Take the trash out, and co and then you could come back here and play with everyone else. And acted, and we're, like it's like the comparison that like 
like parents don't understand that like you can't pause online games and it's just like but I know for a fact that there's some Karen out there that thinks that that like sports games can be paused. What the fuck? <laughs> Nobody else is gonna stop for you. 